I was at the back checking faxes. Hi. Hey. What's wrong, Brenda? Nothing. Is it Lois? Is the baby? No, no, they're fine. They're perfect. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm just happy to see you. I'd be sorry. You're home now. It seemed so lonely when I walked in and you weren't in here. Tell me about it. Honey. I'm sorry that I left and that you were here all alone. The tour was a bad idea. Why, are you telling me that you didn't like our breakfast and love making by proxy? No, I loved it. Mm. But only when I can't have the real thing. You okay? Something happened while I was gone? No, I'm fine. What do you ask? I don't know. I don't know what's the matter with me. I'm feeling so hypersensitive. You know, I just, just feel like everything's different after watching that. Watching that little girl fight with every fiber of her being to be born. And Lois was in so much pain. And then she was just so filled with love. It was... I feel like the whole entire world needs to just stop right now. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone just needs to celebrate. Starting right here. Oh. Brooklyn. She looks like Lois. Ned wasn't there. So I brought this picture for him. Will you do me a favor? Will you promise me that when we have our baby, he'll be right by my side? I mean, I mean, someday. <laughs> then we have our baby <laughs> way down the road. Yeah, well, just make sure you let me know in advance and I'll, uh, I'll circle it in. Oh, well, you'll definitely know because I won't let you let me out of your sight. Mm. Present. Yeah, they arrive daily. <sighs> oh, and Catherine dropped off this? Yes, she did. Um, she wanted your approval. It's pretty, huh? I want to make sure that we're always together during all the important moments of our life. I won't let you let me out of your sight. <sighs> she is beautiful. Beautiful little baby girl without a daddy. There's nothing sadder than that. Try not to let it bring you down. I'm trying. I guess I just feel kind of guilty. I feel so happy. And my best friend's marriage is over. Yeah, well, it's the economy of life. One marriage breaks up, another begins. It's a shame it's got to be that way, but... There's nothing anyone can do about it. You know what scares me? If something like this could happen to Lois and Ned, it could happen to anyone. It won't happen to us. I promise. How can you be so sure? Ned and Lois loved each other, too, and they thought nothing was going to come between them. They just had a baby, and they're not together. 
We're not like them. What about the things we don't have any control over? Well, how do we know that there's not something going on right now that we know nothing about that could affect our relationship? Uh, this isn't about the unknown, Brenda. Ned and Lois broke up because of the quarter means of the kind of family that eat their young. My family's different. My mother isn't Tracy. Mm. Look, you don't have to worry that you're going to turn into something you'll hate by being with me. You're right. I'm sorry. Oh, it's just that Ned and Lois were so perfect together. And if they couldn't make it, what makes us think that we can? Well, there are no guarantees in life, Brenda. All I can say is that I love you from the bottom of my heart. And just tell me what I can do to make you happy and I'll do it. Kiss me. I'm serious. Kiss me. Are you sure you don't want me to bring you a thimble of snow from the tallest mountain in the world? Name it and it's yours. Kiss me again. Now you want to water in and have dinner in bed? Oh, I can't. I promised Ned I'd take him this picture. Why don't I come with you? Mm. I think I should go by myself. But I promise I'll be in a better mood when I get back. I love you no matter what mood you're in. <laughs> what I ever do to deserve you? I'm the one who should be asking that question. As God is my witness, Brenda, nothing will ever come between us. You're perfect. <laughs> you know that? You are. See you later. See ya. How do we know that there's not something going on right now that we know nothing about that could affect our relationship? Being a dead horse.